Oldham pulls up right wing for three. Bullseye! Draw Oldham, number three. UB basketball. And you're in the bullseye. I thought it was a total team effort. I think the guys that were on the bench were very, very helpful. I, I was able to sit down and listen to some of the stuff they were saying. And um, I just think it was a team effort. Bills in the left side, shoots a three, and knocks there it down. That's what he needed, back home in one my arena. We knew we needed to have a lot better performance. Uh, we had a rough week last week, didn't play up to our potential, I don't think. And we knew we had to respond. We had to play a lot better. And you have to protect your home core in this conference, because it's a battle. And uh, we knew we had to play really well, and I think we did that tonight. Dribbles inside the paint, gets by Oldham, lobs it for Marshall. His layup blocked by Watt, off the board and into the hands of Gerard Oldham. Akron has one of the better front courts in the MAC, but I really think that we have the best front court in the MAC. We got great minutes from Cameron Downing. Um, Tyus Robertson coming off the bench is is uh, always solid, and we're all playing as a group and. We're in good synchronization with the perimeters um, that we can do a lot of things. Uh, Akron's post players are pretty tough. It was a good challenge. Um, I think everybody rose to it. Um, people were taking charges on them all game long, keeping them honest, and uh, it was a good team win. Underneath for Downing. Righty hook shot in the lane. Good for Downing. He scored on back-to-back -back possessions. He has a lot of ability, as you can see that, and it's about getting him to be assertive and be aggressive, and the thing we, tried to tell him and Corey and Orm was, don't let yourself get into a mindset where you're trying to wait your turn. You know, that the, the team needs you and, and you're capable and just, just, we asked him to not be concerned about whether he was productive. His thing was, well, I think if I'm productive, I'll play more. And I said, just be aggressive. Just bring energy. Don't worry about being productive. And I think, again, trying to get across to our sophomore class to not sit back and, and wait. And um, obviously two of them have been playing a lot, Javon and Gerard, but Cameron and Orm and Corey are talented. We see it every day in practice. And tonight they got a chance to demonstrate that a little bit, but you know, much of it is just focus. It's not their physical ability. Robinson hands off, hold a right side layup, oh, good. good look. You know, he's a talented kid. And it's great that he's got people around him and he's not gonna back away from the challenge. And that's, that's, you know, what we've been working with him on is changing speeds. Sometimes Gerard goes too fast. And when he doesn't, he's got great vision, great size, and loves to set his teammates up. So tonight I thought he did a better job of changing speeds and um, did a better job of being physical with the basketball. So he is making strides. And um, I think our guys are learning each other as well. Oldham inbounds to Watt, nearly stolen, right back to Gerard now at the point. Bounce pass under the basket, McRae who lays it in. Boy, what a beautiful play the Bulls drew up during the timeout. I was thinking, after Mitch handed it off, I had to turn the corner hard. I knew Javon was going to get behind his man. Zach set a good screen. After that, I just knew, fundamentals, knee to knee. Coach talk about knee to knee entering into the post. After that, I knew Javon was going to finish. He was too close into the basket. We got great energy from, from everybody that played. I thought our man-to-man -man defense a little bit back to where we are capable of, and that's a really good team that we played. They've had a lot of success in our conference, and they're one of the teams that's stepping out and really trying to do things in, uh, as far as basketball, like a, a BCS-type team.